Hi guys, this is uh, David here at Casino Quest. Uh, today I'm gonna go over the hard ways, uh, give you guys kind of the full scoop of how the hard ways work, how the bets are placed, and then I'm gonna show you a little bit of betting strategy with the hard ways that I tend to use. Okay, so the first thing is, um, I'm gonna grab this uh, stick real quick. I know you guys can't see me, but I'm gonna, moving a puck over, okay. So the first thing you know, the hard ways are otherwise called picture bets. So everything is really a picture bet, any kind of hopping bet. The bet has to come as it's pictured on the table, but the hard ways, picture bet, sometimes refer to the same thing. And very clearly all it means is the bet, the dice have to come exactly as pictured here, okay? So interestingly, um, most of these hard ways are working when this is on, when this is on. So if the puck is on, for example, and you have, let's say you want $5 on the hard six, the hard six has to come, it has to come three and three. If the dice come five one or four two, that is not a hard way and you will lose your bet. So very clearly when you roll the dice, it has to come three, three, okay? This table says nine, two, one. So if you bet a $5 hard six and it comes three, three, you would win nine, two, five or $45 and you'd still up to win. Some tables you'll see where it says 10, 4, 1 on the hard 6 and hard 8, 10, 4, 1, as well as on the hard 10 and hard 4, it would say 8, 4, 1. It's the same thing, okay? 7, 7 to 1, 9 to 1 just means 9 to your single bet. 4, it, it means the same thing, so just go with that, okay? When you bet these, you would throw these into the dealer and say, hey, I would like a hard way. So a lot of people will throw dollars in and say, listen, I would like a hard 6 or you could throw it in and say, I would like a hard six and eight, or you could throw in, let's say four units, and you would say, I would like all the hard ways, please. The dealer would set up the hard ways according to where you are in the table. So here, in this example, the person is one, two, three away from the stick man. This is four away for the stick man, this is five, six, seven, eight, all the way around the table, okay? So once these hard ways are set up again, in order to win these bets, they have to roll exactly as the picture. Now, interestingly, the hard ways stay up to win. So the only ways you lose the bet is if the hard way, if instead of getting, let's say a hard six, it comes four two or five and a one, those are easy ways, you would lose the hard six. The hard six would fall and um, the dealer would say, excuse me, sir or ma'am, your hard six is down. And they would ask you if they were a good dealer, they're gonna ask you to put up your hard six if that's what you want, if you wanna keep up your hard ways. The other way they lose, of course, is when there's a seven rolled. So it has to come easy or a seven and you lose the hard ways. It's really just that simple, okay? That's when the puck is on, by the way. Now, when the puck is off and the, it's the coming out roll, the dealer, the stick person will, will say, hard ways work unless called off. And in that respect, they would use a button. And I'm gonna grab these buttons. I should have been better prepared when doing this, but here, okay. So you'll notice that the stick person has various buttons and these for marking the bets either working or on. So when the puck is off, now you know the puck is usually over there and uh, it'll signify that you're coming out. That's the coming out roll, okay? The first roll of the dice. So when you're coming on the first roll of the dice, normally hard ways are working. But what you can say is, you know what? I would like my hard ways to be off. This way, if you're betting on the pass line, you don't put these hard ways at risk. You could still roll a seven and you won't lose your hard ways. Now, remember though, when they are off, you can't win a hard way either. So if you came out uh, and you came out on a hard four, you would not have the benefit of winning on the hard four. It would just be off, it would stay there. No harm, no foul. Whenever your bets are off, they can't win or lose, okay? So that's an option you have. All right, so the next part about betting the hard ways is, uh, and this is something that every dealer uh, would love for you to know, is how do you bet a two-way hard way? It's very simple. There's a couple ways to bet for the dealers. Let's say, for example, you want to bet a two-way hard six. You would throw that money into the center. The dealer would set it up, one for you and one for them. If you throw in six dollars, okay, let's say you say you throw in, I would like a two-way hard six, okay? You don't have to even say anything. The dealer will assume the five is for you and the one is for them, okay? 
The other way that you can do it is you can say, I would like a hard weight, two-way hard weight under player control. And what happens there is, let's just do this. Let's say you throw in $2 and you say, I would like a two-way hard six under player control. That just means the dealer would set up the bet and they're going to set the top bet askew like that, okay? And what that signifies is if you should hit this hard six, the dealer will ask you, so your dollar is here, their dollar is there, and then you can dictate how they get paid on that bet. You can say, hey, take the same bet, leave yourself up to win, and so you would get nine, and they would get nine, and they would still be up to win. By default, whenever you bet for the dealers, okay, let's say it's a two-way hard six, okay, one dollar for the dealers, that bet, if it should win, has to come down. The dealer would then move that bet into the center of the table, and the boxman would put out $10 and down. So you get $9 and still up to win, but if you wanted to take the bet down, it would be 10 and down. The dealers take their bet and down $10 and down. So there you go. All right, so that's betting the two-way uh, two hard ways. This is all the hard ways. Okay, now we're gonna talk about some you know, betting strategies. So along with, I like to have fun in the hard ways. I enjoy these bets because they're not essentially hopping bets. They stay up to win. And what I do is I, I do what's called a parlay. Um, so as you know, with my triple luck system, I tend to go all the way up. I'm a very aggressive craps player, okay? So let's say, for example, I hit the hard six, okay? We're gonna stick to the hard six. I love the hard six. Actually, I'm a more of a fan of the hard eight. I seem to see a lot more of those. So let's say I want to press. Press, as you know, so if I got paid on this, I would be paid $9. But let's say I wanted to press. If I wanted to press, the stick man would double my bet and give me $8 instead right? That's a straight press. That just means to double the bet. The other thing you can do is you can say, I would like to parlay my hard way, right? And parlay just means to use all the money and use all the money and press the bet completely, okay? So instead of it going to two, uh, I'm going to go all the way to 10 because it would pay me 10 and down. So now I have a $10 bet here ready to win. If I hit that bet again, it's then $90 and still up to win or $100 and down. And by the way, most of you hopefully know by now that the prop bets, the dealers always pay you and still up to win. They always leave your bet still up to win unless you specifically ask them to take the bet down. So in this case, this is why nine to one is very helpful, okay? So you know that you're gonna get $90 for this bet. It's 90 to one, all right? If it said 10 for one, a lot of times the casinos will use the four to make it sound like it's a better bet. It's not a better bet. It pays the exact same thing. The only difference is that it's 100, okay? So let's say I'm gonna show you. So nine to one is basically 90 for this, and 10 to one would be 100 for the 10, you know, uh, equaling the same amount of checks. So here, let's go back to this first parlay. So we had a dollar on the hard eight, we parlayed it. We said it said parlay my hard eight, and so now my hard way is at $10, all right? If it hits again, I'm gonna get paid $90, having started at $1. Believe it or not, I leave these up to get to the 100 mark. I've actually hit this quite a few times. So if it hits again, I'm gonna tell them to parlay it again. So 90 plus 10, $100. From a dollar, I have a $100 hard eight. Now, of course, you can do any combination. Maybe you go to 25, maybe you go to 50, 75, whatever you want to do. I go to 100 because it's just like hitting a royal flush. If I hit that again on a quarter machine, by the way, and uh, not, the, not a very good quarter machine for that matter. Okay. If I hit this again, I'm getting $900. So if I see three hard eights before any easy eight and before a seven in the same roll, I'm gonna get $900 for my dollar. And I've actually done this like four or five times. I mean, I've actually done this quite a few times. I know a lot of you out there have hit some good, pretty good parlays on the hard ways too. And I mean, that, that's basically it. So of course, if the, a dollar parlayed on a hard four looks like $8, a dollar parlayed on the hard 10 looks like $8. These pay the same, seven to one. Hard four and 10 pay seven to one. And then the hard six and eight pay, um, and this would be a parlay. Okay, so if, if this is parlayed again, it pays eight times seven is 56 plus eight, $64. If you hit it again, it pays $64. Now, this is a case where the math starts to screw with my head, so I will tend to just go to $60, um, cause six times eight is something I can figure out as opposed to 64. So anyways, 
Then it gets, it gets a little deeper from there. There's a lot more math, but that's your general introduction to the hard ways. And I hope that you enjoyed my time with you explaining hard way bets. Come back soon. Thanks for stopping by. This is David and I'm out.